A War is a uh, drama war film directed and written by Tobias Lindholm. Uh, if you're not familiar with him, he is a Danish writer-director. He also uh, wrote a pretty decent movie called A Hijacking. Uh, in that movie, I really like the performances. The movie's very gritty. Uh, in that movie, it's about a uh, crew of a boat that gets taken by pirates, and they have to um, endure captivity while the company that uh, employs them works out a ransom. So this movie is uh, got starring Pailu Aspek as uh, Klaus Peterson. He is a commanding officer and uh, him and his entire squad are definitely uh, put through the emotional ringer when they lose someone in the very beginning of the film. Uh, so he decides to make the weird decision of going on patrol all the time with his men as an act of solidarity. However, it takes its toll on him emotionally. So the movie is of two distinct halves. The first half is a war film. The second half is more of a courtroom drama. And essentially, uh, Klaus misses his family. He's got a wife and three kids at home. Uh, they're also missing their father. And uh, he's uh, given one soldier named Lasse a two-week reprieve because of um, the emotional turmoil. And they're back to it. And they're uh, on a routine mission. However, they're attacked by the Taliban. And uh, Lasse has been hit in the neck, he's going to die. And they can't get a helicopter in because they don't have a visual on the enemy. Klaus uh, decides to call in an airstrike on an area where, if it's clear, a helicopter can come in and take Lasse away. So he does it anyway. And uh, however, he is then indicted for war crimes, however, because um, he might have broken the rules of engagement. So the movie turns from a war film into a courtroom drama. Really nice shift of different genres, especially that actor I really liked. I think his name's like Solar or something. He's really good. He was uh, the negotiator in a hijacking. He plays uh, Klaus's lawyer in this film. So the movie, I really liked how it's very realistic, however. Um, the villain, not really the villain, the antagonist is a prosecutor, a woman. She's not like some evil, nasty dragon lady. She's just like a woman doing her job. She's got to try to prosecute someone who might have taken the law in his own hands and killed civilians in the battlefield. So uh, the movie is very raw, it's emotional. Uh, if it had any um, flaws, I'd say that uh, during some of the battle sequences, the camera goes into handheld mode, it's not done really well. Also, uh, the movie feels kind of fatty. I mean, in the way that whenever they cut to his family and his children, the movie kind of slows down, grinding to a halt. Also, the, the main meat of the story is the whole war crimes aspect. That doesn't happen until an hour into the film. It should have happened a lot sooner. But I can see why they did that. They wanted a sort of slow, steady development of characters and then develop you know, his family and then has a chance of getting everything that he's worked so hard for taken away from him. And the movie has really deep themes of like, you know, vigilantism and like the moral quandary of, you know, is it all right to sacrifice so many other lives for one man? Things like that. I really liked it. I checked it out. Um, besides the sort of, maybe the movie could have been a little bit better if they started with the indictment of the war crimes and used the war elements as flashbacks. But, but either way, a war has some really solid performances. Uh, it's a really good uh, moral questions, and um, it's thrilling. I watched it. It was enjoyable. However, it has a few flaws. So I give A War a 7 out of 10.